Hey guys, thank you very much for being here. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Let's get ready to start. Everybody, please with your cameras on and full names displayed. Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Alba? Present, present. Thank you. Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. Not present. Carla Ivana Cabrera Serrano. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Speaking of the devil, remember that idiom? Claudia Lisset Canales de Enriquez. Not present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjora. Not present. Fernando Ernesto Cosma Morales. Present. Thank you. Hector Eduardo Lopez Varela. Present. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Thank you. Carla Maria Quintanilla Viles. Present. Thanks. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thanks. Mariana Carolina Cisnero Reyes. Not present. Por motivos de auditoría en Sefur, los participantes manifestó no poder asistir a clases por un tema familiar. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thanks. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdez. Miriam, not present. Natalia Carolina González. Present. Thank you. Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Not present. Sina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Not present. Por motivos de auditoría, la participante no podrá asistir a la sesión. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you, sir. Alrighty. Teacher, um, ya llegué. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Ana María Chacón de García. Present. Thank you. Anybody else? Alguien que se haya metido ahorita? No? Daisy. Daisy. All righty, Daisy Marcelo Rosales Canjora. Present. Present teacher. Thank you. Then a Daisy, Rene. How is it? Ren Alfonso Maria Ferrante. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Okay, anybody else? No? Okay, so let's go ahead and start today's class, guys. And you know the question, right? What was yesterday's topic? Use wall, call a wall. <laughs> Put your own word. Put your mind. Put your mind. Put your mind. Now, what do we use after could you? Do we use the base form or the gen? Base form. Base form. form. Uh -huh. So could you plus base form, which is the infinity, right? Yeah. Base form plus complement. And what about would you? Would, would you mind? mind? Mm -hmm. Plus gerund. Ger plus gerund, ger right? Ger what is the gerund? Ver 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 plus ing. Uh -huh. Ver plus ing. And what do we use this for? What do we use this for? Para que ocupamos esto? For questions and... Polite. 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 Say with me, please. Could. 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 Now, remember that in, Could. in English, we don't say cuckoo like in Spanish. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Mm -hmm. We say coo. Explode. Coo. 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 Could. Very good. Now, pronunciation. Could you? Could you? Could. Could. The L, I'm hearing a lot of L's, is not pronounced. Could. 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 Could.
guys, you. remember to try to keep your cameras on at all times, all right? Um, when possible. All right. And what about the pronunciation of wood? Say with me, please. Wood. 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 With the DS in David, guys. Wood. 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 Mm -hmm. Like this. Um, I already mentioned this to you guys. Ya se los mencioné, pero la W es como que pongamos una U y la siguiente vocal en esto, cuando va al principio. Wa. What? Right? Why? 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 Si lo decimos con la G, like why, why? it's not correctly pronounced, ¿ok? Why? So, would. Like, like this. Would. Como una U extendida. Would. 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 And this one was giving you a lot of issues. Say with me, please. Mind. Mine. 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 With a D at the end. So this is what I want you to do, Mine. guys. Let's go ahead and, and, and share with your with your classmates. This has nothing to do with um, job environment. You're going to ask polite requests to ask someone out. All right? Polite requests to ask someone out out. To ask someone out is invitar a alguien a salir. Okay? So, you're gonna be, I don't know, for example, Miguel está con Héctor, no necesariamente es algo eh, de pareja, right? Héctor le, le puede decir a Miguel, hey, would you mind going to the movies with me? I'm sad because my girlfriend left me. I don't know, something like that. I wanted to have a little fun and I wanted to practice this. Okay? So we're gonna have approximately yeah. three, approximately seven to eight minutes and try to ask as many requests, okay? Las respuestas, the answers, ya las tienen ustedes. Any questions? Any questions? No question. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry guys, go ahead and accept the invite and try to practice as much as you can. So. Lynette, did you get the invite? <laughs> Hola, perdón, que me estoy ubicando todavía. Bye. ¿Qué onda? Hey, ¿Qué onda, William? Hey, what's up, William? Come on, say it in English, what's my friend. Not much. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay. Teacher, pero en este caso vamos a hacer nada más como oraciones, no es conversación, ¿verdad? Whatever you prefer. Si quieren conversación, conversación, okay. si no, oraciones. A ver quién hace, no sé, la más loca, la más mm. clever, la más creativa, la más amable, <laughs> etc. Um, okay. René, mm. could you teach me? How to play badminton? Could you, Could you teach me how to play badminton? Teach me. Teach. Teacher, teach. Enseñar. Ah, okay. uh -huh. uh -huh. Es que casi me está cortando mucho. Ah, could, yes? Uh, yes, sure. Okay. Great. Demole, continue, guys. Ask yourself a polite request for invitation. Okay. O cualquier cosa, pero Okay. Puede ser. Me for buying a shoes. A shoes. A shoes? No. Shoes. Ajá, exactly. <laughs> Está bien. Okay. Quiero ver. Would you mind going to mall with me for buying a shoes? 
For buying shoes. For buying shoes. Mm -hmm. Sí, yeah, shoes. Ah, shoes. Make sure uh, Jose Antonio participates too. He's very sad. I'm muy triste porque no participa. So include him too. Okay. <laughs> Vaya una, ¿dónde te gusta ir? ¿A vos dónde te gusta ir, Jose? Man, what's up? We already covered that topic. Ask in English. Uh, uh, WH. Uh -huh. What place do you like? Do you no. like to sit? Almost there, but instead of saying what place, like in Spanish, que lugar, how do you say donde? Where? Uh huh. Now ask. Where? Uh, mm. Where place? Mm -mm. Where place? Just where? Where? Uh huh. That's it. Where? Where do um. you? Mm -hmm. Where do you like visit? Visiting, creo que no. To go. Where do you like to go? Well, where do you like do you like to go, Jose? I went. I like to go to. Sorry. I like to go. I like to go to the PC cinema. Okay. Vaya, like entonces, to to movie. Uh -huh, the... Movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to go to the uh -huh. cinema. Nice. Now ask him requests using could you or would you? To ask. Uh huh. Uh -huh. In that context, would ask you him. Buy... Mm -hmm. would, you mind... would you mind going to cinema? Would you mind going? Uh -huh. No, but that's great. Good job, Jose Antonio. Querías decirle que si, si le importaría ir contigo, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Would you mind going? Nice. Would you mind going to the cinema with me? With me. Okay. Excellent. Good. Great job. Keep it up, guys. Continue. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Tell me. Um, la primera teníamos dudas. Uh, la primera. Is correct. Could you mind checking my report? Um, could you mind? Um, could or would you mind? Would. Uh -huh, would. Exactly. Would. Uh -huh. oh. Now, guys, puede ser cualquiera de las dos. Puede ser, oh, okay. could you check my report? O podría ser, would you mind? Checking. 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 Mm -hmm. My report. Uh, is it correct? My report. Yeah. Si es tuyo, si. Ah, okay. Okay. My report with the stress in the. My oh. report. My report. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, would you mind? Would you mind buy... buying for dinner? Buy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Buying dinner. That's it. Would okay. you mind buying dinner? Buy dinner. Mm -hmm. By it would or could? Would. Would you mind? Would you mind? Would. Would you mind buying buying dinner? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, no problem. Answer, nice. No problem. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. Next. Would you mind? Would you mind going mind. to the? Would you mind going to the moving with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you mind? Mind the the, the the the. My the <laughs> my. <Yeah. laughs> My God. 
All righty, guys. I need some volunteers, please. Volunteers, volunteers. Me, Carla. Go ahead, Carla. Choose someone and ask, please. Okay. Would you mind going to the park with me? Okay. And Who are answer? you asking? ¿A quién estás preguntando? Preguntale a alguien. Ask someone. Uh, Carly Vania. Uh -huh. Carly Vania, would you mind going to the park with me? Uh, no, not in a million years. Oh, man, that's so true. Very cool. Okay, thank you very much, girls. Two more volunteers. Thank you, Daisy. Okay. <laughs> and the next, ask someone. Pregúntale a alguien. Ask someone. Okay, a William. Would you may invite me to shopping short? Uh, sure, no problem. Okay. Would you, you. mind? Would you mind? Inviting me? Mind. Inviting me? Ok, invitarme a comprar. No me puedo invitar a comprar y compra usted. So no, yo quiero que pague. So let's go ahead and fix the verb. <laughs> Would you mind buying me? Would you mind buy me? Uh -huh. Some shorts. Ok. Would you mind, would you mind buy me buying. shorts? Buying? Buying, me, buy, e, buy, buy, buying, 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 no con i latina, no y, buying, buying, uh -huh. would you may, mind, buy shopping short, would you mind buying me, ah, sh uh, short, short, yeah, okay. so, uh, thank you very much, Daisy and William, este es un buen ejemplo, guys, uh, y, se lo recomiendo, Daisy, cuando le dé una pronunciación, anótela debajo de la oración, así con las flequitas, para que usted se acuerde cómo suena. Porque si no, eso es muy común, que la podemos pronunciar, porque ayer lo hizo muy bien, pero después se nos olvida. Right? Entonces, anótenlo abajo o ahí en su cuaderno y eh, vayan practicando cómo separarlas en sílabas y dónde va la fuerza de voz. Eso les va a ayudar muchísimo. Con eso. All right? So, great job. Now, thank you very much. Do you guys have any question then about uh, could you and would you mind for request? All clear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, teacher, no, no I question. Okay, well, thank you very much. Now, today we're gonna start with this. So go ahead and repeat after me. I will be able to I will, I will be able, able to. to. I will be able to. React to appropriate. React, React to appropriate. Any na, any na, any inappropriate behavior at work. Any inappropriate behavior at work. Mm -hmm. That's right. I will be able to react to inappropriate. Uh, oh no, appropriate. I will be able to react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. I will, I will be able, able to, to react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. Volunteer to read it, please. Go on, Maria. I will be able to react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. Good. We go here. Oopsie. Ah. Hoy podremos eh, reaccionar acá. Pro. Apropiado. Apropiado. Apropiado o no apropiado Three, para preguntar en el trabajo. Eight. Like this. Appropriate. 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 Apro appropriate. Appropriate. Mm -hmm. Everybody, please appropriate. appropriate. 
appropriate. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Hey guys, uh, read with me, please. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? That your company has regulations about employees' behavior. The company have regulations about employees' behavior. Uh -huh. Volunteer to read, please. Uh, me, Fernando. Go. Uh, does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? Name okay. three examples and unacceptable behavior in your company. Thank you very much. So, guys, what can you tell me about the word regulations? Do you have a synonym? Rule. Exactly. That's a very good synonym. These are rules. All right. And what about behavior? Comportamiento. Mm -hmm. So what does your company you? have regulations about employees behavior? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, but yes. not our yes. explicit. Yes. Uh -huh. So yeah, every company has regulations about employees behavior. Now, let me ask you something. Can you punch or, or can you uh, slap somebody's face? Can you, can you do that? Can you slap somebody's face? Yes, but I don't show not correct. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can you eat semita on your computer? No. no correct. <laughs> inappropriate. Mm -hmm. So it is inappropriate or inappropriate. unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you yell to your customers? Or can you yell at your customers? Can you Mr. Yell? Customer, get out of here. I don't want you here. Can you do that? No. 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 So tell me, guys, three examples of unacceptable behavior at work. Three examples. Like the ones okay. I just mentioned. Eat at your workstation. Well, in this case, it's going to be eating at your workstation because of the context. And I. Sorry, Ana Maria. <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, is appropriate. appropriate in my work uh, okay. for ten coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. appropriate. Interesting. Mm -hmm. so, Cada quien come en su estación de trabajo. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. So now is a, is appropriate and accepted. Okay, mm -hmm. what else, guys? Come on, vocabulary here. Uh, hit my co-workers. <laughs> okay, yeah. Inappropriate. Being violent. What else? Uh, uh, se dice? How do you say uh, el, la forma de vestir para ir al trabajo? Uh, dressing code? Uh, that's dressing a dress code. code. No, dress code. Dress yeah, code. That's a dress code. But what is the inappropriate thing? Uh, it depends of the company. Uh, how do you say? Short skirt. Maybe. Okay. So how do you say vestir? Wear. Wear. Y con ING. Wearing. Wearing. Uh, wearing. Wearing. Uh -huh. wearing. 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 Shorts. And in shorts at work. Mm -hmm. At work. So how can you give a recommendation? Si ustedes ven a alguien que anda en chori chanclas en su primer día, es una firma de abogados ahí en su trabajo, ¿cómo le dijeran, cómo le dieran la recomendación? Uh -huh. Would you mind? Would you mind? <laughs> Would you mind una recomendación? Is that a recommendation? Would you mind? Or a suggestion? It's a suggestion. Uh -huh. So we need to give a suggestion. 
How would you do it? ¿Cómo lo hicieron en inglés o en español? Mm. Eh, es que, bueno, tendríamos que explicarle primero qué es lo que está malo y después decirle. <ríe> Pero... Okay. Eh, como... Empezaríamos con te recomiendo. Ok, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, you can. Te recomiendo. Will you, will you mean apropiate the set? No. <laughs> will you mind? That's a request. Es como una petición. Will you mind? No, sí se puede. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que es una petición. Si ustedes van uh -huh. al banco, bueno, ya se puede, pero antes no. Si tienen el teléfono en la mano, <clears throat> el vigilante amable o no tan amablemente les podría decir, would you mind turning your phone off? Quiero que lo separen. That's the thing. ¿Para qué ocupamos would you mind? ¿Para sugerencias, suggestions mm -hmm. o para requests? Petición. Requests. Requests, right? You should, exactly. Porque si usted le llega a decir a su coworker, por ejemplo, Mira, eh, ¿te importaría venir bien vestido? Es como sarcasmo. ¿Qué Ajá, va a decir el otro? De mala forma. Se puede decir, pero de mala forma. No Exacto. se escucha bien, se escucha pesado. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Como que le molesta, le molesta, te molesta eso. Exactly. So, this is what we're going to learn today, guys. Mm, okay. We're going to learn how to give suggestions. All right? Teacher. Ajá. Eh, hoy sí tengo volumen, <laughs> no me acordaba. <Yes. laughs> Perdón. Eh, eh, My, my boss told me uh, yesterday, Ana Maria, could you mind coming in part for that Tuesday meeting? Would you mind? <laughs> um, come, come, o sea, venir, come, coming, in, coming uh -huh. in pant for the Tuesday mm. meeting. Oh, in pants. Nor the no dressing, no dress, no dress. Oh, okay. So like formal. Mm -hmm. Now, I, that's the thing. Who told you that? A co-worker or your boss? My boss. Yeah, that's right. So, I see it on request. Porque tiene la potestad de decirle, ¿te importaría venir formal mañana? Es no. su jefe. Solo se lo está diciendo. Es una orden disfrazada de una petición. Yes. No hay opción. All right. ¿Vieron el contexto? Sí se puede. Pero <coughs> si usted le dice a su coworker, ¿te importaría venir así? No. Ve, actúa de acuerdo a tu salario. Ganamos lo mismo. Right? <risa> Yo vengo como quiero. <risa> so, it can, it, it can go to something different. So, this is why, guys, we're going to use should. Should. Okay. Say with me, please. Should. 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 Mm -hmm. Should. Should. Read it with me, please. Should. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Robert mm -hmm. is addicted to his phone. Robert, Robert is addicted to his phone. Addicted. Addicted. Siempre explotado, guys, como gringos en el tiempo. Addicted. Qué bonito ser aquí. Addicted. Addicted. To his phone. To his phone. Did you see him? Did you see him? One more time. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? All right. He should not chat in a meeting. You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Absolutely, that is not polite. Absolutely, that is not polite. 
Now, I always recommend you guys to learn this way, que para mí esta manera, pero luego um, reduzcan y contraigan. Right? Una de las dificultades que tienen es que a la gente se le enseña a leer así como está acá, pero cuando van con un native speaker, ellos van a reducir, a contraer todo lo que puedan. So, quiero que vean la diferencia. You're right. He shouldn't chat in a meeting. 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 He shouldn't. Absolutely. That's not polite. 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 Exactly. So that's not polite. Try to repeat native speakers so you can get used to this, okay? A veces va a estar gramaticalmente inadecuado, especialmente si es hip hop o de esa cultura. Pero sí, traten de repetirlo, que si no se van a perder. All right, next one. He should answer his messages after the meetings. He should. One more time. He should answer his messages after the meetings. He should. One more time. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we shouldn't talk about him. Oh, uh, sorry. And we shouldn't talk about him. Should not talk about him. Should not talk about him. And we shouldn't talk about him. 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 That's not polite either. That's not polite either. 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 This word. It can, it can be pronounced two different ways. You can say either. Uh, either. Either. Uh -huh, or either. either. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. Either. 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 One more time. Either. This time, wait for me. Ahora espérenme para que vean las pausas que hago con la puntuación. Ya cerraste el programa, Antonio. Ah, sí. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Um, he should answer. His... <laughs> no, I closing. Oh. <laughs> That's what happens when you confuse the camera with your microphone, guys. But it has happened to me. Okay, so me ha pasado. One more time. Let me clear this, <laughs> this up. Okay, let's go. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Go. He should answer his message after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Not polite either. Agree. 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 We should Agree. help him instead. We, we should help, help him, him instead. instead. Help him. Help him help instead. Him. Help, him. Help, help him instead. Him. One more time. Agree. We should help him instead. Agree. We should help him instead. Help him instead. Mm -hmm. That's right. So one more time, guys. Do it with me. Wait for me to finish the whole thing. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? I can't I believe, can't believe it. it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Did you see him? Did you see him? You're right. He shouldn't chat in a meeting. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Chat in a meeting. Chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That's not polite. 
He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should talk about him. Agree. We should help him instead. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay. Guys, two volunteers, please. One is going to be Claudia, the other one is going to be Raul. Mi Raul. Mi Sabrina. Okay, go ahead, Fernando and Sabrina. Sabrina, you start. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Uh, you are right. He shouldn't shut in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting and we shouldn't talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We shouldn't have him instead. Nice. Now switch. Okay. Uh, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Do you see him? You're right. He shouldn't not shut in a meeting. Absolutely. That's not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should him be helping instead. Okay, great. Fantastic. Um, great job with the pronunciation. Let me ask you this. How did you feel? Uh, it's, it's a little difficult for me, the pronunciation of uh, shouldn't. Okay. Uh, me too. Okay. Uh, a los demás? About the you... negative? Uh -huh, I noticed that. Did you like it, guys, for the rest of you? Yes. Yeah? All right. So you did a great job. Hicieron un buen trabajo. ¿A cuántos de ustedes les da, les da pena leer? ¿A cuántos de ustedes les da pena su pronunciación o les cuesta mucho? A mí, Vania. A, a, mí. Okay. a mí me cuesta, pero no me da pena. Ajá. Pero me cuesta. ¿Cuántas veces lo practican al día? Ya, ya Yo ahí. ninguna. Es que, es que de leer, de leer, ahí... sí llevo todos los días eso, pero... Right. Ya, ya ahí me lo escuché, señores. Yo bajo intención... programas y estoy tratando de... Hay, hay algunos programas, yo uso mucho de canciones. Entonces, exactly. canto no. y me pongo y, y después me dice, este, lo has hecho muy bien o excelente, no has pasado al siguiente nivel y así voy, ¿verdad? That's the thing. Good job. Pasa la aplicación. Aquí no, aquí no, aquí no. Okay. No, so, no, no, aquí no. Okay. no. Diga, mejor que la escriban WhatsApp, amor. So, let me ask you this, guys. Este consejo se le doy mucho y solo con la primera pregunta la mayoría me lo escuché y no era esa la intención sino que quiero crear race awareness uh, race awareness es este conciencia. Um, crear conciencia ok desde ya todos los días hagan ejercicios repitiendo hay páginas que yo no se las puedo dar por este medio que son gratuitas donde ustedes pueden ver el script pueden ver el diálogo entonces ustedes le dan play, leen el diálogo y luego van pasito a pasito. Play, dicen una oración completa, pausen. Y así se van hasta que esa les salga. Luego tratan con todo el párrafo. Y así, es un ejercicio que con un audio de 2, 3 minutos se pueden estar media hora, 40 minutos. Sin embargo, yo les garantizo que si ustedes hacen esto a diario, ustedes van a mejorar mucho. Ni siquiera necesitan entenderlo todo. ¿Por qué? Van a repetirlo tantas veces que su pronunciación va a mejorar. El vocabulario se les va a quedar sin siquiera saber qué es. Y van a practicar tanto la estructura que al llegar un momento que ustedes escuchen algo que ustedes dicen, van a decir, ah, esto es lo que yo estaba repitiendo el miércoles. Y yo no decía, you, sh you not should. Yo decía, you should not. Y ahí les va a caer el 20. Es un aprendizaje que ustedes tienen que hacer 
on daily basis. Tienen que hacerlo a diario. Y les prometo que les va a funcionar. Listening, pronunciation, uh, intonation, la entonación, los linking sounds, que es lo que yo estoy haciendo, las aducciones, que si nos ponemos a hacer tema por tema, yo creo que se me desconectan y no se vuelven a conectar. All right? Entonces, en vez de meternos tema por tema, tomen la iniciativa. Les doy como consejo, no se lo voy a volver a dar. Bueno, sí, podría ser más adelante, pero quiero que lo tengan en la cabeza desde ya. Lo hicieron muy bien y los que no quieren participar, les aconsejo que lo hagan. ¿Ok? Porque en su mente pueden pronunciar muy bien, pero ya afuera es otra cosa. O viceversa, quizás dicen yo no puedo, pero al exteriorizarlo se dan cuenta que sí. Y ahí así de fácil acaban de derribar una barrera mental. ¿Ok? Así que démosle, guys. Great job with the pronunciation. Thank you very much for your attitude. And let's go ahead and continue. Now, let me share this here. Here, 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 here. Repeat after me, please. Behavior. 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 The way Behavior. that someone acts is the, in different situations. The way, the way that, that someone acts in different situations. Different. 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 This E is not pronounced. Different. 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 The company expects Different. polite behavior from all the employees. The company expects polite behavior from all the employees. One more time. The company expects polite behavior from all the employees. The company is expecting all the employees. Volunteer. Me, Sabrina. Go ahead, Sabrina. The company expects polite behavior from all the employees. 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 Great job. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Interrupting other people. Interrupting, interrupting, other people. People. interrupting other people when they speak when they speak when they speak, they speak. it's not a good behavior it's, it's not, not a good behavior. Behavior. behavior interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior interrupting other people when they speak it's not a good behavior interrupting other people when they speak Speak is not a good behavior. Interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior. Thank you very much. Volunteer, please. Me, Daisy. Go ahead, Daisy. Interrupting other people when they when they speak speak is not a good behavior. Great job and good improvement with the M. Excellent. Interrupting. Good. All right. Um, next one. Gossiping about co-workers. Gossiping, Gossiping about, about co-workers. Co is rude behavior. Is rude behavior. Is rude behavior. 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 Gossiping about co-worker is, is rude behavior. Gossiping about co-workers is rude behavior. Volunteer, please. Me, Carla. Go ahead. Gossiping about co-workers is rude behavior. Excellent. Nothing to add. Great job. Is there any new vocabulary here, guys? Gossiping. Gossiping. Good <laughs> Spanish. Yeah. Gossiping Chambrosa. is chambrosear. Prácticamente. I don't know how to say it in Spanish. <clears throat> so, uh, gossip. Chiclosa. Gossip is chambre. <laughs> ah, okay. Right? I am gossiping. Estoy chambreando. Mm, okay. 
right? But in this case, Chambian. gossiping is chambear. Mm -hmm. chambear. Excuse me, Hector? Esa es la primera regla en nuestro trabajo. Ah, okay. So, you should not gossip. Right? You should not gossip. Great. So, let's go ahead and work with this. Close your books. Don't use your books, please. Would you mind not using your books? Could you please not use your books? Now, are you here? Yes. Yes. Could you please? Are you Closing here? your book. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Let's take some other Okay. Um, listen to listen to what I Corona. listen to what I have to say, and you give me the structure. Okay. Okay. You should practice okay. every day. You. You should practice every day. You should, you should practice, practice every day. And then subject is short. Verbase. Verbase. Complement. Verbase. You should, should practice not. every day. You should. Subject. 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 Short. Verbase. Complement. Plus verbase. Uh -huh. So you should practice every day. You. Subject. Subject. Then subject. Subject. Should. 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 Practice. 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 Every day. Every day. Complement. Complement. Got it, guys. Great. That's the structure. You should plus verb base plus complement. Now, another recommendation. You shouldn't eat too much chocolate. You shouldn't eat too much chocolate. You so you shouldn't eat too much chocolate. Uh huh. Chocolate. So what is the subject? Subject. 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 Mm -hmm. subject. subject. Should not. Should not. Mm -hmm. Plus show plus verbase. Mm -hmm. Plus verbase. Plus complement. Complement. There you go. Excellent. So guys, what is the difference between affirmative and negative structure? Not. 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 Right? Mm -hmm. Y esa es la misma diferencia en las negativas en pasado, ¿verdad? Y es la misma diferencia en las afirmativas y negativas en presente simple, ¿verdad? Y es la misma diferencia en el to be, que son todos los gramas, temas gramaticales que hemos visto. Van viendo el patrón, señores. Una vez ustedes le van entendiendo las estructuras, no importa si es presente, pasado, futuro o lo que sea, lleva prácticamente la misma estructura, el mismo patrón. So, keep it in mind. Now, this being said, lo repetimos tanto que más o menos les fue quedando y me lo pudieron decir. No hemos hecho la... Um, la pregunta no ha salido no vean sus libros what do you think the structure for a yes no question is yes no yes no wait 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 wait, wait. Uh -huh. think about it this is what we do subject auxiliary esto no es un auxiliar es un modal verb pero va en el mismo lugar this uh -huh. change Exactly. Should plus subject, subject, subject plus subject, verb base, verb base, verb base, complement. Complement. Plus complement. 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 Great yes. job. Great, 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 great. Now, esto no lo vimos. We didn't cover this. What do you think is the structure for a WH question? W equation. W equation and the equation. The same structure. Y lo mismo, uh -huh. Ahí está. Ahí está. So, guys, fantastic. Me lo resolvieron en dos patadas. Este es el nivel de entendimiento y de estructura que ustedes tienen que, que llegar. Todo lo demás después de la práctica mecánica va a ser ganancia para ustedes. Good job. 
Go ahead and copy it because we're going to use it, my friends. I'm going to send it via, via WhatsApp too right now. Teacher, how do you say show? Money. Okay, model. Model? Mm -hmm. Model bear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. You have it in WhatsApp. I'm going to be using this and I'm going to be asking you for this constantly. And I will definitely ask for this tomorrow. So go ahead and practice it. Did you copy already? Yes. Should we continue? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes, All right. So I need you to give me an scenario. Any scenario. Algún escenario, algo de la vida. Mm. In the music? Music. Yes. Okay. Um, becoming a musician. <clears throat> Convertirse en músico. Guys, give me recommendations, please. You should, plus the verb and the you, complement. Mm -hmm. You should uh, practice. 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 practice all day. All day. All day. Um, all night. <laughs> all night, every, all day, every day. All day, every day. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What else? These are suggestions. What are we giving? Suggestions. Suggestions. One more time. What are we giving? Suggestions. Suggestions. Are That's we right. Suggestions. Give me you more should, suggestions. Brainstorm. You should. You should. Uh, study music. You should study music. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What else? Mm -hmm. Should so, um, Alejandro should not. Wait, 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 wait. Copy. Fantastic. I love what you're doing, but let's keep in the affirmatives so then we can go to the negatives. But I like it. Mm -hmm. Write it down. Mm -hmm. Give me at least three more recommendations. Okay. Oh no, just one more. Just one more. You should look for your talent. You should look for, for your talent. For your so let's go ahead and change it. ¿Qué verbo podemos ah, pues poner ahí? Look for buscar or we can also use discover. Or mm -hmm. Now give me suggestions in negative, please. You shall not copy. You shouldn't miss a class. You shouldn't. Lo voy a poner de un solo en, en contracción, guys. You shouldn't miss or skip classes. Skip classes. Now, miss is, for example, what happened to. Uh, Perder. Exactly, but it's something that normally you can't control. An emergency, you know, illness, but a skip. ¿A cuántos de ustedes les gustan los anuncios de YouTube? Ah. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué hacen ah. cuando les sale un anuncio? ¿Qué le dan? Saltar el anuncio. Saltar el anuncio. Skip, next, next. So, skip es cuando ustedes voluntariosamente dicen, ñangue, hoy no me conecto, hasta mañana. That's a skip. So, skipping classes, you do it because you want to and miss something happened and you couldn't do it. Okay? Vocabulary right, right there. Give me one more. You shall, you shall not copy the music of other artists. Okay. You should not copy other artists' music. Great. Okay. One more. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I guess you ran out of imagination. So let's go ahead and change the, the context. Going downtown San Salvador. Going downtown San Salvador. Give me recommendations when I want to go downtown. Quiero ir al centro. ¿Qué me recomiendan? You shall visit uh, the cha 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 restaurant. You should restaurant. go to cha 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 restaurant. 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 Okay. You should restaurant. go to cha 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 restaurant. A la luz, por favor, no me la pague. What else? <laughs> How do you say cosa de valor? Um, valuable things. Oh, yes. Uh, you... Jewelry. Todo el mundo está pelando la casetera riéndose porque se imaginan lo que pasa en, en el centro. Pero nadie me da recomendaciones. Quiero ir. You should. You, you, should, you should leave your objects. Uh, expensive objects <laughs> to you have. <laughs> Tenga, no sé. Dejar las cosas de valor en tu casa. <laughs> um, I would recommend you say personal belongings. You should leave your personal belongings home. Belongings son tus pertenencias. Ah, pertenencias, belongings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. One more. Put in One more. Affirmative. Ah. Affirmative. You should, you should buy um, cheap clothes. <laughs> okay, you should buy cheap clothes. That's right. Excellent. Now give me negative suggestions. You should in park. Far or so far. You should oh, you park sh far away. Okay. Mm -hmm. You should park far away. Ah, you were to say you should not lie, leave the car on the street. <laughs> okay, you shouldn't park the car yes. in the street. And the street. You should you shouldn't go alone. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't go alone. That's another one. So I like this one, guys. Una vez ya más o menos dominamos esto, lo podemos mezclar. Si ustedes me dan un, una sugerencia negativa, inmediatamente me pueden decir su contraparte afirmativa. Como por ejemplo. No lo dejes en la calle. Busca un parqueo. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. So, in English, it's the same. So you shouldn't park the car in the street. Debería buscar. I called you. No. You should call you. Search parking. Search park. You should look for private. Private. Parking, private for park. example. Park. You should look for private mm. parking. So as you can see, now I'm not only doing affirmative, but I'm also doing negative. And I'm mixing them in context. Uh-huh. Another one? You should tirar la basura en la calle. You should. Add two at the same time. No tires la basura en la calle. Okay, give me just a second. I got Miguel and I think I got someone else. Alba, I think it was. You, you should not take off your mascarilla, como se dice. Oh, you shouldn't take off Maxi. your mask. Maxi. Take off your mask. Great. Uh, Miguel, what was your great job, Alba? Yes, negative. You uh -huh. should not uh, bring the, the iPhone also. You shouldn't bring your phone. No importa, que sea barato. Your phone. Uh -huh. no, pero, por ejemplo, te puedes decir como que no te lleves ese teléfono, ponerle el chip al otro y llévate el otro. <laughs> oh, you, you should bring your cheap phone. Uh -huh. The other one, you shouldn't litter. Mm -hmm. 
this one is what Ana Maria was saying. Botar basura. You shouldn't litter. Ah. You should, you should not throw. You shouldn't litter. That's it. Okay. Okay. So, guys, you let's go ahead and take attendance. Everybody ready, please? Alba Noemi Cortez de González. Present. Give me a second. Ana María Chacón de García. Present. Carla Ivani Cabrera Serrano. Present. Claudia Lizette Canales de Enriquez. Present. Thank you, Claudia. Daisy Marcela Rosales Camora. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosma Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Zara. Present. Carla María Quintanilla Vilés. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Marina Carolina Susana Reyes. Not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Not present. Natalia Carolina González. Present. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present, teacher. Reina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not present. Sabrina Mavera Tim Castro. Present. Sandra Elisa de Osorto Romero. No, present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Okay, thank you very much. So what we're going to do right now is that we are going to try to practice. Okay, so practice, 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 and practice. All right. Now, first, what we're going to do is that you're going to come, come up with situations at work. Okay, situations at work. For example, I forgot to deliver my report. Se me chipoteó entregar. Well, it depends, guys. Uh, deliver, like we have uh, in, I don't know, Pizza Hut or any other place. Delivery. You can deliver information. Se puede entregar información. All right. Pero cuando es en papel, is hand in. Hand in. hand in. Eso significa entregar, pero un documento en sus manos. Por eso se llama hand in. Right? So, otherwise, you can just say deliver. Any question before we go out to the breakout rooms as far as the structure? No? How many? It doesn't matter. How many sentences? It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care right now about how many sentences. I care about the quality of them. So situations at work, for example, I forgot to uh, deliver my report, right? I had a problem with my boss. Tuve un problema con mi jefe. Positiva my, negativa. Yeah. My mm. boss is harassing me, mi jefe me acosa. Okay, it could be labor, es que no te apuras y estás siempre encima, for example. Uh -huh. Teacher, no entiendo. ¿El qué no entiendes? <laughs> okay. Eh, Ahora sí. Suggestions about... ¿Estás buscando la estructura de, de, de lo que estábamos de hacer o...? Exactly. Suggestions ah, about... Por ejemplo, yo acaba de intentar... Cases. Mi intento es este, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. You should come early. Bien. You should come early. Sugerencia, vamos a hacer entonces. Yeah. Y negativa y positiva. Ah, okay. Suggestions about... 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 Ok, sí se pueden salir un poco del guacal. Eh, la carta didáctica dice que tienen que ser acerca del trabajo. Metan un par de trabajo. Uh, mm -hmm. Siempre llego tarde. Solo tengo 15 minutos para comer. ¿Y qué hago? ¿A quiénes le ha pasado? Sobre todo los que trabajan en call center, en cinco minutos tienen que bajar seis pisos, ir a la vending machine, comer algo, hacer fila por todos los que van pasando por el detector de metales, volver a subir a sexto piso y conectarse otra vez al teléfono. Difficult, right? So you come up with the scenarios, los escenarios son libres, okay? And then you try to give suggestions in affirmative and negative. ¿Estamos? Yes. Hey guys, come on, yo últimamente o la clase o los temas o yo. Pero hay que levantar un poquito Early. esto. 
¿ok? Hay que levantarlo un poquito. Es que nos pone a pensar bastante, teacher, por eso estamos más callados. <risa> eh... Estamos quemando neuronas. You sure are really Teacher, hice otra oración. Uh -huh. you, you, should, you should send the message, message es como mensaje, la, la palabra no lo puedo pronunciar muy bien. Message. Mes, ok. You should send the message. Message, yeah. You should message. send the message. Okay. El mensaje, si sí, el, si sí, ya la. Ah, mira, tengo que mandar. Correo. El, uh, the email, in that case. Ah, ok, the email. All right, guys. Démosle. Traten de atacarlo. Lo primero que les sale es no traten de darle respuesta. Ok. No traten de darle respuesta perfecta porque a veces entran los breakout rooms y todavía están callados que no saben qué hacer. Lo primero, se me fregó, se me fregó el zapato, se me destrabó la suela. Lo que se les venga a la mente y sobre eso trabajen para forzar el vocabulario. Tengan un diccionario virtual a la mano. No usen Google ya lo mencioné, okay. pero no debería de mencionarlo. Okay. Pero no, el traductor okay. de Google es muy literal. Ok. Okay. All right. Go for it, guys. Accept the invite. Organize. We're going to have about 14 minutes for this. So do your best. Any question, let me know. Go. Go, go. You should, you should prepare, prepare, Again. prepare, llevar de al final o no, no, verdad? Solo prepare, 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 prepare coffee. Prepare mm -hmm. coffee. Uh, you should send uh, uh, invitation. I can use, I can use the uh, other pronoun. We, she, or only you? No. You can change the pronoun. That's a good question. But first, work with this. Okay. Ahorita you. solo con you should. Eso es todo. Okay. Mm -hmm. You should send the invitation. Invitations. Así es, teacher. Invitations. Ah, send the uh, invitations. Invitations. Okay. Mm -hmm. Send. You should oh. prepare coffee, dijeron, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. You should prepare sí. coffee. <laughs> oh, you can also make, make coffee. coffee. Make, so make coffee. Make coffee. Yeah. Ah, hacer el café, es cierto, no sí. es prepararlo. Uh -huh. Make uh, coffee. Eh, our team, our, our team. Sure, ¿Cómo you, se dice tema? Sure. Tem. Topic. Depends how, on the context. Ah. How do you say tema? Theme. Sí. Theme. Ah, pues, our team organized theme. seminar. Theme. Theme. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When we say Orga topic, uh, what, what does it mean? The same. Uh, yes, keep it in topic. The same. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Keep it up. Make sure you do affirmative ring negative. Let me check in the Google. Yes. Okay. Uh, we shouldn't. Recibo the telephone. You should print the receipt on time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. okay. Make sure you work with affirmative and negative. Nafa, you too, okay? All of you okay. perfect. You should bring your... tú, tú deberías anotar la fecha de vencimiento. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to do something real quick. Do should record the days of the receipt. You should record. You should record the day of the receipt. Wait a moment, please. 
Natalia, Natalia, tú. Um, you should send the weekly advance. You should. You should, perdón, Natalia. You should, you should send okay. the, the weekly advance. That weekly. Weekly advance, advance. Yeah. Deberías mandar el avance semanal. Ah, okay. You should not forget about what you recite. You should not forget about recite. You should not about. Tú no deberías olvidarte de los tú no deberías olvidarte de los recibos. You should about the receipt. The receipt. Any questions, guys? Before I check another group. Mm. Only, only yes. Solo oraciones serían, verdad? Yeah, yeah. Right now, just sentences. Okay. Um, negative and mm -hmm. affirmative. Yeah, and you can change the topic, you know. Okay. Couple of affirmative, couple of negative, next topic. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank You're you. You're welcome. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be late to work. Okay. Como que, por ejemplo, sería perder alguna factura. En afirmativo. No, como que no deberías perder. Ah, perder. You shouldn't lose. Ajá, lose a bill sería. Lose. 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 That's the pronunciation, lose. Uh, you shouldn't lose a bill. Uh, Remember, you can provide a couple of examples in affirmative and negative, and then you can change topic. Okay. Uh, uh, que no se olvide como comprar. Comprar uh, las herramientas, algo así. Buy. Buy the tools. No debería comprar las herramientas. Ah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. For. Ah, forget. Uh -huh. Forget. Bye. Tipo de ser así, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, sir. All right, keep it up. We got six minutes. Let me check another group. Okay. No, how are you doing? You should you you shouldn't shut in the office. Should. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Yell in the office. Yell. Yell. No sé si está correcto gritar. Gritar is shoot, teacher. Yell. 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 El que tú estás diciendo es shout, que también es gritar, es como gritar. Shout. 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 Shout es cuando tú levantas la, la voz. Okay. Igual que yell, prácticamente. Yeah. No he visto honestamente si hay diferencia entre shout y yell, solo sé que es como uno es como vociferar o hablar en voz muy alta y yell, eso ya es gritar. Ahora gritar pues como de ¡ah! Eso sería scream, que es otra cosa. Mm. 
You can change the topic too. You can talk about other scenarios, not necessarily just one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You shouldn't play at war. You shouldn't park on street. You should clean. You sh you should clean your desk. Yes, sir. Every day, you should clean your desk every day. You should. Mm -hmm. You should desk. You should clean. Sorry, you should clean mm -hmm. desk every day. Clean desk. Jose Antonio, I need to hear you too, my friend. Okay. You should dry the car of the empresa. You should dry. <laughs> you see, muy bien, lo tenés, pero necesito que lo exteriorices. Así te ayudo también con estructura, con okay. pronunciación. You should. Shh, como que está cayendo algo. Shoo, shoo. Hey, shoo. Como arreando vaca, no sé. Shoo, shoo. You, you shoo, shoo. Should, y le pones la del final. Should. Should. Ajá. Uh -huh. You should. Drive. Dry. Drive. Drive. Mira mi, mi, mi labio inferior. Drive. Drive. Ah, como Drive. la ve, chica. Drive. 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 The company car. The company car. Okay. Good. Ajá. Uh -huh. Turkey face, my man. You can do this, but I need you to participate. Zina, póngase su nombre completo, porfa, porque ya casi tomamos lista. Okay. All right, keep it up. You got three minutes. At work, you, you shoulder is not at work. Uh -huh. Great. You shouldn't smoke at work. You shouldn't smoke at work. Uh -huh. You, you, teacher. Come again, you, please. teacher. You shouldn't smoke at work. Yeah, you shouldn't smoke at work. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, no. Uh, you or do? No, you. entiendo. You, you, you. you. Mm -hmm. Utilizando la, la estructura de subject plus should not. You okay. should. Mm -hmm. You should. Should. Should uh, smoke at smoke. work. At work. Mm -hmm. At work. You should. It's not at work. At work. Mm. At work. Uh -huh. Hasta ahorita le estamos entendiendo. <laughs> no lo había entendido, Ticho. Eh, podría ser. No habló, pues? We. <laughs> es que La otra está... podría ser. Ajá, perfecto. Es que me confundí un poco, pero no quise preguntar porque, porque no quería La preguntar. otra podría no ser también, teacher, la otra, o oh, igual Carla. Uh -huh. eh, you Mark. should not ask where personal calls, calls, calls llamadas personal. You shouldn't answer personal calls. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, uh -huh. está bien. Okay. Um, should... Carla. ¿Cómo fue esa, René? You Tome la bandera. Not... Alguna pregunta, hágala. ¿Por qué? Porque de los que como 16, 17 que tengo el día de hoy, le aseguro que hay tres o cuatro personas en su misma posición. Así que pregunte. Y todo este tal? tiempo que ha pasado, estos 14 minutos, no hubieran sido 12 de entenderla y 2 de práctica. <risa> hubieran sido 14 de práctica. Así que no me no, 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 it's ok, pero también ya no me tengan la confianza que si tengo que explicarle 18 mil veces, se las explico 18 mil veces. Estoy aquí para ayudarlos, ¿verdad? Tell me, Claudia. Teacher, y otras podría ser, you should get up to get to the office early. Yes, I mean, I mean está muy bien hecha, depende la verdad de qué está hablando, ¿verdad? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
porque si usted dice, no me alcanza el tiempo para terminar el trabajo, ahí sí, you should get to the office early. Uh -huh. O sea, tiene que ver el contexto también. Si yo les digo, tengo que pagar las facturas y no tengo pisto. Dicho en, en, uh -huh. en el subject de la estructura, podemos empezar la oración con we, they. Yes. We, Solo que uh, no les he pedido todavía. Eh, uh, que lo hagamos para que se familiaricen con eso y después empezamos a jugar con esos sujetos. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's go back. Hello, Natalia, how are you? Hello, teacher. How's it going? You have any question about the topic? Por ser la primera me va a preguntar, okay. No, nah, I'm just asking if you have any questions. You shouldn't go to the banks during working hours. Okay, nice. You shouldn't go to the bank during working hours, right? Mm. You should turn off the phone when you leave. Come again, please. You should turn yeah. off the phone when you leave. Deberías mm. apagar el, como que el ventilador, algo así. Ah, turn eso, off. Eso me dice. Muy bien. Eso turn me dice, me jefe. No te va. Turn off. Mm -hmm. eh, you should turn off the fan when you leave. Correct. Okay. That's that's all. Great job. Great, okay. great, great, great job. Alrighty, guys. Volunteer, please. Miguel, mm -hmm. go ahead, Miguel. Uh, you should bring lunch to work. Yes. Negative. Yeah, go for it. Okay. You shouldn't park in the street. You shouldn't park in the street. That's right. Good use of the structure. Great. Next, please. Me, Vania. Thank you, Vania. You should bring the receive. Receive on time. You should bring. Traer. Bring. Oh, bring. bring. Okay, uh -huh. great. Uh -huh. Negative. Um. You should not about the receipt. You should not. About the the receipt. What is the verb? What is the verb of the zero? About. Mm -hmm. About. Know about, quizá, saber. I don't know. <laughs> okay, no worries. Um, give me another one. Other. Give me another one. Deme otro. Ah, you should not watch video. In your work. You should not watch videos at work. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. Any volunteer? Any other volunteer? Me, Jose. Thank you, Jose. Hey, you should wear safety books on projects. Yeah, exactly. You should wear safety books on projects. Nice. Great. Hey, Thank you, Jose. Hey, you should not dance in the office. You should not dance in the office. Ya a volver a su oficina, pero hay que son muy serias. Yes. All right. So, moment of the truth, guys. Preguntas. Porfa, sean, sean serios. Ténganme la confianza de preguntar, please. Uh -huh. Alguien que se llene de valor. Teacher, me y Carla. Go ahead, Carla. ¿Cómo podemos hacer una afirmación utilizando el should? O sea, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre... No, 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 no. ¿Cómo puedo diferenciar una negativa con una positiva? 
Ah, ok. Um, primeramente con el not. You should. That's it. Uh, por ejemplo, you should uh, study hard. Deberías de estudiar fuerte, mucho. You should study hard. Y la misma negativa de esa, digamos que tú trabajas mucho, estudias mucho y te estás quemando. You shouldn't study hard. So la única diferencia es el not. You should, you shouldn't. Que es should not. ¿Todavía con dudas? No, teacher. Thank okay. you. Thank you for asking. All right, guys. So what we're going to do right now is the following. Now you are creating sentences and uh, you're going to create conversations. Okay? Me hicieron dos veces la misma pregunta. Podemos poner we. We should. Nosotros deberíamos. Yes. Podríamos poner él debería. Yes. Héctor debería. Yes. Héctor should. José Antonio should. Rina should. Claudia should. Eduardo, Fernando, and Sabrina should. So, el you lo podemos cambiar por cualquier sujeto. Now, depende de ustedes si quieren, <ríe> si quieren que les suba bastante la bandera. Mi idea para esta clase es que ustedes me hicieran una pequeña conversación. Y en esa conversación, dar suggestions que estamos ocupando ahorita. Se le voy a perdonar, para el viernes vamos a hacer eso. Okay. So right now, I just wanted to create a conversation, guys. Now, algo que sí me di cuenta que los están haciendo loco. ¿Cómo van a dar recomendaciones si no saben el contexto? Así que tienen que tener un contexto. Porque si a mí me dicen, deberías perder peso, me pega. Pero si se lo dicen a una persona que no se va a ofender. ¿Y qué crees que me muera? So, el contexto tiene mucho que ver. Si yo le digo, por ejemplo, um, quiero ver. Me, Daisy. Ahorita, ya me lo va a dar, pero quiero hacer un punto. Si yo le digo, mira, fíjate que Simán está dando todo al 10%. Cosas de 100 dólares valen 10 pesos. Un televisor eh, 70 pulgadas 4K está en 25 dólares. ¿Creen que cabe la recomendación? ¿Debería llevar mucho pisto? No. ¿Por qué no? Sí, sí para que compre sí. bastante oferta. Sí, cabe. <risa> para que compre ah, bastante. Bueno. Ah, Aunque okay. es más fácil que llevan piedras. Okay. Van. Entonces, para unos pueden decir, voy a llevar mucho pisto para comprar muchas cosas. Mm, otros pueden aprovechar. decir, oh, mejor no llevo porque me lo voy a gastar. ¿Entiendes? Contexto. Sí. La misma sugerencia no pega. Y si van al centro, ¿creen que les pega esa sugerencia? Debería de llevar mucho no. dinero. No, ahí sí, no. 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 Vea que no. Entonces, no. para que nos quitemos esta piedra encima, no busquemos tirar sugerencias a lo loco. Pongámosle contexto. Como ir a ¿Sí? jugar fútbol y, y, y lleva zapatos de vestir. Exacto. Ajá. Pero, ah, pero ¿cómo es que Mira, voy a jugar fútbol. Si a alguien le dice, deberías de llevar zapatos de jugar fútbol, le voy a decir, ni modo que juegue chuña. <risa> right? O sea, hay cosas obvias. Uh -huh. Ahora, si como muchos que yo conozco, después del partido se van a echar un par, varios pelaron los ojos ahí. <risa> Ahí la buena recomendación sería no te pongas a polo. Right? Toma, no you shouldn't maneja. drink too much. Esa es otra. No deberíamos de manejar. No deberías de manejar. So, ¿Me entienden qué tan importante es el contexto? Yes. Ok. Demore, guys. So you're going to have 15 minutes. Todos van a pasar. Conversación completa. Y necesito que metan negativas y afirmativas. Necesito un voluntario. I need a volunteer. Go for it. Go, 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 go. Me, teacher. Ok, go, Ana María. Come on, quítale la corona, por Dios. No es que no se lo merezca, porque sí, pero quiero que otros también salten. 
Okay, Ana María, group, give me a context. Deme un contexto, súper rápido. Primero que se le venga a la mente. Mm. Usted no, Ana Organize María. seminary. No, usted no, porque usted lleva más a sufrir. Todos los demás. Un restaurante. 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 ¿Qué pasa en el restaurante? Mm. Sí, vamos a comer, pero ¿qué pasa en el restaurante? La limpieza. El... La atención. Ok, pero ¿qué pasa con la limpieza y la atención? Está la sucia. La comida está al dos por uno. La comida está al dos por uno, la comida está fea, el, mal, el mesero nos hace mala cara, no sabemos qué pedir, no solo el lugar, sino cuál es el contexto. Uh -huh. right. El mesero este, me hizo mala cara. Deberíamos de hablar con el manager porque no me da cómo me trata. O sea, estoy pagando, right? O no, me dejarlo. Debería dejarlo ir, pobrecito, está estresado. A mí me vale 20 si yo también y vengo a comer. Debería de calmarte. Y you, you sí, ven cómo vamos metiéndolo. So, la otra, la comida está deliciosa. Debería de dejar un tip. En los estados se hace mucho. Todo lo que es servicios, que tiene customer service, se acostumbra a dejar tip en la mesa. Y aquí no se lo, allá no se lo timan, no, nadie lo agarra. Entonces, contexto, guys. Démosle con eso. Ana María, you should have restaurant, yes. and I don't like the waiter. The waiter is rude. Ana María, this waiter is pissing me off. I am super, super, super upset. Ana María es mi esposa, o mi mamá, o mi compañera, whatever. Uh -huh. Give me recommendations, mm. Ana María. What should I do? Repeat after me, everybody. What should I do? What should, what, I should, what should I do? What should I do? Ana María, what, what should, should I do? What should I do? I'm upset. You should, you should talk uh, manager. Oh, yeah, you're right. I should talk to the manager. Topela, mami, topela. All right. Ahí se me acabó la conversación. Ahí se me acabó. A no ser Solution. que hubiera una tercera persona, ¿verdad? Volunteer. <laughs> volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Come on, right now. Me. Me. Who said me? Who said uh, me? Me. Me, teacher. Okay. Um, Natalia. Natalia, mm -hmm. are you the supervisor here? Are you the supervisor of this restaurant, Natalia? Yes. Okay. Yes. You know what? You know what? <laughs> you should train your waiters. I am super upset. You shouldn't allow this beep to beep, you know. So that's the point. <laughs> Ana María me llevó a, a que debería de hablar con el supervisor. Pues hombre, tío, tengo otra persona que es supervisor. ¿Ustedes creen que Natalia me va a dar sugerencias a mí con el enojado que estoy? No. No, ve, ahí vocabulario. No. I'm, I'm sorry, my apologies, you know, we're going to give Policía, you Policía, sáquelo. Coffee. Debería mm. llamar a la policía, está muy enojado. Uh -huh. Exacto. ¿Cómo me dijera Natalia? Nafta, ¿cómo me dijera? Debería de tranquilizarte. Vamos a calmarnos. You should speak German. Hey, you should not, you shouldn't talk to me like that, ¿ok? You see? Y así honey, solo dejen seguir, guys. Honey, guy. you should calm down. Miria. Don't tell me eh, what to do, woman. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Liz. Okay, so, take it easy. Take it easy. You should take it easy. Se armó. Vieron como una cosa me llevó a la otra. Yo no lo planeé. Mm -hmm. Y obviamente aquí es donde pega el vocabulario. So, no espero que, hagan lo, que lo hagan perfecto, pero que de ahora en adelante las conversaciones sean así. Solo dejen lo que fluyan. Okay. Y el mismo contexto lo va a llevar. Ok. Qué bonito. Voy a you got 10 minutes, guys. Uh, we're going to come back. 10 minutos. Okay. Tomo asistencia. Regresamos 5. Y a las 9.50 le damos y todos van a pasar. ¿Ok? Por lo okay. menos un minuto y medio por grupo. No menos de eso. Go. texto, no sé. Podríamos retomarlo. ¿Cómo? De ahí. 
como ya lo teníamos en el contexto, podríamos retomarlo de ahí. Ah, ¿no? sí, sí, de lo que habíamos hecho del magistratura. Vale. Sí. Eh, y solo lo vamos a ir diciendo si. Sí. Va. Eh, digamos, Catherine, my computer don't turn on. Como dijo el teacher, what, ¿qué? What, should, what should I do? Mm -hmm. My computer doesn't, third person. What doesn't turn on. What should I do? Doesn't, 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 doesn't. Bye. Bye, me puedes decir. A ver. You should check the connection. The connection. I did it. No sé. Ajá, eso está bien. You should the connection. Ajá. I did it, but uh, doesn't work, teacher. ¿O no funciona? ¿O no funcionó? It. Ajá. Bueno, sería it doesn't, porque todavía no funciona. It doesn't. Uh -huh. I Now, did, no, I did it, it doesn't, así. I did it, punto, ya contestó, hoy puede decir lo que quiera. It doesn't work. Ah, ok, ok. Bye. I did it. I did it, it doesn't work. Uh -huh. Pueden meter preguntas también, como pedir sugerencias. Should I? Solo le dan vuelta. Pueden con ello, girls, you're doing great. Thank Acuérdense you. de al terminar, practicarla unas dos, tres veces que se pueda. Go for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eh, de, uh -huh. Para mí sería como eh, you deberíamos. should you should buy the ticket. Should or should? You should. Huh? you should you should buy the tickets. You should buy the, buy the tickets. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y allí le, le damos otra sugerencia a digamos a Fernando. Yeah, eh, okay. Por eso, pero, pero no sería como, primero, antes de empezar a decir las sugerencias, preguntemos que alguien pregunte, algunas sugerencias para el viaje. Y ahí empezamos. Ah. Uh -huh. bueno, para poner en contexto. Para agregarle la frase. Some suggestions uh -huh. for the trip, creo que sería, o tra travel. Travel. You can, uh, for the trip, para el viaje. Sí, para el viaje. Para el viaje. Sí. Uh -huh. um, you can also include questions. What should ah. I do? Por ejemplo. Mm. La misma persona la ah, que okay. sugerencias. ¿Qué deberíamos decir? de llevar? Should I... Okay. Right? Should I bring... Que es como, como traer, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. O llevar en este traer, caso. Sí. Should I bring okay. my lotion? Should I bring my towel? Mi toalla? Um, suggestions for the tip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, Daisy... Sí, ya, ya entendimos. Daisy ya dice... You... En alzo... En alzo... Zapatos. Eh... Deberíamos llevar... Comida you suficiente. Should... Uh -huh. No, porque hay un restaurante. O oh, sí, ponemos eso. Lo que sí debemos de llevar es como abrigarnos, porque ahí sí hace frío, ahí es helado. Guys, deberíamos, oh, ahí lo tienen la, todo. Esto que están teniendo es una conversación real. Entonces no es necesario que en su script ustedes lo tomen súper perfecto. Eso está excelente. Hey, should we bring food? ¿Deberíamos traer comida? Porque es la pregunta, vea, le damos vuelta. Sí. No, there is a restaurant there. Oh, okay. Y eso fue real. Entonces no traten de hacerla súper perfecta. 
Eso está muy bien. Eso es una conversación real. Pásenla al inglés. Ok, okay thank you. Deberíamos llevar comida. Así dijo Alma. Ajá. Uh -huh. And we should bring food. No. Ahí hay should un we? restaurante. Should, should we? we? Should we bring food? Should we bring food? Bring food. Natalia, no. Ahí, no, ese, podemos poner no, ahí hay un restaurante. Uh -huh. ¿Ahí hay? en inglés? No, there. Uh, sería... No. Um, eh, no, there is no... There are, uh, there a are no restaurant there. Uh -huh. There is a restaurant there. There is okay. a restaurant. Uh -huh. All right, there great is... job, keep it up. You got okay. three minutes and then five, okay? Up, there is a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Pero copialo. Pero sí, sí, ya, ya. Pero copialo. Sí, lo tengo. Te dije. And, uh -huh, you shouldn't, uh -huh, you should rest and shouldn't talk too much. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo te contesto. Okay, doctor. I'm going to rest. I'm going to rest. Thank you so much. Ahí termino. Okay. Great. Let me remind you guys that you can also ask questions. Acuérdense, le dan vuelta al sujeto con, con el, en este caso, el modo del verb. Should I? Should I buy panadol? Uh -huh. No sé para qué fue el doctor, ¿verdad? Pero, should I... I don't know, should I drink water every day? Mm -hmm. Por si okay. le quiere meter un poquito más. Un poquito okay. más, okay. Por si, por si acaso. I'm just giving you an idea. Si ya lo tienen perfecto, pues, that's good. Okay. Please. Okay, practice. Mm -hmm. Come on, sure. William? Si quiero decir, uh, se fue el teacher. No, I'm here. <clears throat> I was just drinking. Ah, uh, solo como si, por favor, sigue las recomendaciones. Please follow. Uh -huh. Please follow recommendations. Okay. Okay. Please, please. please follow. Mm -hmm. Please follow recommendations. Okay. Mm-hmm. Practice. Okay. Practice. Okay. Hi, doctor. Nice to meet you. My your name doctor, is Sabrina. Your doctor left the room. Ay, no. Qué barbaridad. Siempre hace lo mismo. Dale el aire. Este... Dígale esto. No debería de ir de la sesión. ¿Cómo lo dijeron en inglés? How would you say it in English? You shouldn't leave. How do you say session? Session. The session. You shouldn't, you shouldn't leave the session? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see? Okay. The same. The, the, life is giving you the context. Okay. All right. Let's go back. All righty, guys. Thank you for coming back. Again, 60 seconds. Mm. Okay, I'm waiting for everybody to come so I can take attendance. I'm waiting for two people. Okay, here we are. All righty. Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Present. Ana Maria Chifonde Garcia. Present. Cardivana y Cabrera Serrano. Present. Claudia Lizette Canales de Enriquez. Present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. 
José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. José Antonio. Thank you. Cardenet Amaya Herrera. Present. Carla María Quintanilla Vilés. Present. Catherine Milice Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Oh, not present. Y esperando. Olvaride. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. No, present. Natalia Carolina González. Present. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Sabrina Mabela Dín Castro. Present. Sandra Elisa de Osorto Romero. No, present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Okay, thank you. Guys, um, solo quick reminder. Antes de los cinco minutos, pueden meter más, pueden meter questions. What should I do? ¿Qué debería hacer? What should I do? Pueden preguntar, should I eat chocolate? Should I go to the gym? So, acuérdense, I should. Solo le damos vuelta para las yes, no. All right? Go for it. You got five more minutes. Try to practice as much as you can. Go. Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, how do you say maleta? Suitcase. 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 Yeah, you can say suitcase. Suitcase. Okay. Yeah. Go, go, okay. go, 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 go. It's good idea. Uh, shall we bring rep and then for, for Sancudos in English? Sancudos. Mosquitoes. Ah, uh, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. <laughs> Sancudos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there is restaurant. Yeah. Restaurant. What will you? What would you? What, what would, would you suggest me to eat? What would you suggest me to eat? Okay, good. Yeah, it's fine. Pero en contexto, acuérdense que eso es el tema de ayer. Y espérense que el viernes lo vamos a mezclar. Ahorita no. ¿Qué debería de comer? What should I eat? That's it. What should I eat? Okay, what should I eat? Mm -hmm. Okay. Y the answer sería I sure you did. Chicken. You should. La otra ah. persona te dijera, you should. Okay. Good, you're doing great. Keep it up. Okay. You should, ¿qué? Eh? Este, espérame. ¿Ah? Entonces vos eso lo vas a decir, ¿verdad, José? You, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be so calm. <laughs> no deberías de estar tan calmado. <laughs> you shouldn't be so calm. Okay. Vaya. You eh, shouldn't be so calm. Entonces, entonces ahí ya, ya después de tanto pleito, yo le voy a decir así, entonces, should, uh, could you tell me what, what you're going to order? Por ejemplo. Para ya que ya no sigan discutiendo. Yep, try to practice, guys. Okay. Ya lo tienen, o eso lo practican. Sí, sí. Okay. Cool, you tell me. Right, get up. Okay. Nosotros no deberíamos, no deberíamos de llegar tarde al estadio también. No deberían vender. Ah, también. Deberían. Pues yo estaba pensando en, en The Shoulder. The Shoulder. Shoulder, Shoulder, Shoulder. Shoulder, Shoulder. 
Shuren. Shuren. Silvius. Silvius. Aha, Silvius. Aha. Inside the stadium. The shouldn't say beers uh, in the stadium. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They shouldn't sell beer. Así va. Beer. 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 Uh -huh. Es un noun que no es contable. So, beer. Uh -huh. beer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They, sh they shouldn't say beer in the stadium. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, así sería. All right. So, okay, practice as much as you can. Sí. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, eso. Uh, should I call someone to help me? Lo que me, o sea, lo, lo que le habíamos quitado. Por eso, cuando yo te decía, cuando uh -huh. vos me decís, you should not hit the computer, vos me decís, you should. Por eso lo decías tú. So I call someone to help me. No sé. Así creo que así lo habíamos puesto, pero no sé. Ajá, por eso. But you sure no we're going to report the problem. <laughs> por eso. Es que lo de report, report the problem tal vez lo decía yo. Acordé que me tenés que preguntar como a quién debería llamar. Ah, o debería bye. Llamar bye. Entonces... Who, who should call, who should call, no. All righty, guys, we are back on track. Group number one, Chacon, Daisy, Fernando, go. Okay. Okay. My, my topic is traveling. Mm -hmm. Hello, guys. I go into the travel rotan. Do you want coming with me? Yes, sure. of course. Some suggestion for the trip? You should buy the tickets today. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, sh should we bring our laptops? No, we should not bring our laptops. It is a trip to have fun. Anna, should okay. buy bikinis? Yes, right away. Uh, we shouldn't forget sunscreen. You are right, Fernando. Uh, Daisy, could you lend me a suitcase? Sorry, no, I can't. I have two suitcases. I can't lend you a suitcase, Fernando. Okay, thank you. Really? Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, great job. I so liked it. So I liked it a lot. Um, you gave great answers. Dieron muy buenas respuestas. Un par de cositas que se, que se nos fueron, lo cual es normal, don't worry. Should buy, que se nos olvidó el sujeto. Ya sea, we should buy or should we buy. Ajá, uh, era you buy. should buy. Ajá. <laughs> y shouldn't forgot, lo dijimos en pasado. No se te, ve, no se te debería de olvidar. Right. Uh -huh. Other than that, great context and great vocabulary. Me gustó mucho el contexto y el vocabulario. Great job. Liked it. You see? Thanks. Short, clear, and concise. Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, en la de should buy bikinis es en la del sujeto. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Y ahí Ajá, yo no que, sé si es pregunta. Es que nosotros, es. no, es que yo le, le dije a Ana, Ana, deberíamos de comprar bikinis. Por eso dije, Ana, should buy bikinis. Ah, pero entonces usted dijo Ana. Para llamar la atención de Ana. Ajá. Ana no es el sujeto de la oración. Ah, en todo caso, es tuvimos que, que haberlo hecho en pregunta. Ajá. No necesariamente. No. Así, mire. Ana. Ah, Ana. Y ahí ya llamó la atención de la persona a la que se lo está diciendo. Uh -huh. We should buy beginnings. Ah, ok. Mm. Mm. Que ya se refiere solo a ella y a mí. Ya no incluiríamos a Fernando porque Exacto. ya llamó la atención. Uh -huh. Y el uh -huh. Ana no es el sujeto. Uh -huh. okay. ok, eso Hoy solo sí es como una introducción o para llamar la atención de la persona. Por ejemplo, okay. um, no sé, Miguel, we should go to the doctor now. Miguel, coma, deberíamos, ese es el sujeto, nosotros, deberíamos. Ana, Carla and Claudia should um, wake up 
early. Miguel, Ana y Claudia deberían de despertarse temprano. Okay. Entonces, Miguel mm, es yeah. solo a quien yo le estoy diciendo. Mm -hmm. Ana y Claudia, o, o, o Carla y Claudia son nuestros sujetos, que sería they. ¿Me doy a entender? Um, yes, yes, gracias. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Sure. Great, thank you. Thanks. Next, Ivania, Héctor, Natalia, go. Okay. Hi, Frey. We shall go camping in Berkin. <coughs> it's a good idea, Natalia. Yes, should we bring repelling for mosquitoes? Natalia, should we bring food? There is restaurant, Hector. What should I eat? Natalia, what should I eat? I should sugar. You eat chicken, but you should not eat fish. Natalia, could you pay with a credit card? You, you should bring cash. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, great, 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 great. So guys, um, in this case, good job using the structure questions in particular. Hicieron muy bien las preguntas. Si faltaron un concepto de cosas de preposiciones y todo eso, pero one more time, no es lo que estamos viendo. Sí se puede mejorar, pero es algo que tiene mucha área de mejora. El tema estuvo muy bien y también me gustó el hecho que dijeron no tal cosa, deberíamos de hacer esto. All right. Great job. I liked it. Next, Alba, Sabrina, William. Okay. Okay, the topic is about medical visit. Mm -hmm. um, hi, doctor. Nice to meet you. My name is Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. What's the matter? I have a sore throat and a bad cough. Oh, I see. You should drink a lot of tea and take cough medicine. I have to go to work tomorrow. You shouldn't go to work. You shouldn't. You should rest. I have a big project to finish at work. Um, you should rest and you shouldn't talk too much. Okay. Um, what? time should I take medicine? Uh, take medicine one every eight hours. Should I drink alcohol? No, you shouldn't drink alcohol. Alcohol. Uh -huh. Okay, doctor, I'm going to rest. Thank you so much. Okay, please follow the recommendation. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Necesita pista, doctor. Generalmente son en dos semanas. Pero... <laughs> okay, great job, guys. Excellent. Um, I like the context. Me gustó mucho el contexto. Me gustaron las preguntas y la estructura en general. Creo que lo llevaron por un muy, muy buen camino. Un par de cositas de pronunciación, como todo, como parte del proceso, pero de lo contrario. Excellent. I liked it. Ve como todos se alegraron de ese, de ese buen. Uh -huh. Come on, guys. <laughs> going on with you. Jose Miguel Rina, go. Our topic, romantic day at the restaurant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Welcome to the restaurant La Semita Pacha and more. Do you have a reservation? We don't, we don't have. Okay. Here is a table for you. Go with me, please. You should give us a table by the window. There are no more tables. We should hope that there is a table available. The approximate, the approximate time is one hour. It's okay? No, it's a long time. Darling, we should wait for a table to be. You should be more attentive. I will appell you. Okay. 
could you tell me what is your order? You should keep calm, darling, please. <laughs> you should be this so calm, though. Okay, okay, what is your order? No thanks, let's go, darling. <laughs> Terrible okay. service. <laughs> okay, finish. Round of applause, round of applause, excellent. Um, great context, guys, and attitude. <clears throat> Again, pronunciation, couple of details, uh, but it was great. Se parecen a una aerolínea, que no voy a mencionar el nombre. Igualito de customer service. Mira tal cosa. Mm, okay. Ya se dijo que va a ser. Uf, okay. Great. Next, Claudia and Zoné. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, go to the stadium. Uh, hi, Claudia. Hi, Carla. Hi, Carla. Hi, Renee. Hi, uh, hi Renee. Hi. Uh, we shall go to the stadium to watch the game? Yes, sure. What things place? Alianza versus Águila. Well, what you um, may watch in the tickets, Claudia? No problem. No problem, Rene. Shows okay. the fans enter in orders. The stadium. The stadium. Uh -huh. uh, they show them, no, show them sell beer in the stadium. Sure. Uh -huh. Sure. Sell be in the study. Bye, Claudia. I see you Sunday. <laughs> Bye, Randy. Okay, great. Round of applause, guys. Come on. Everybody cheering people up. It's like, oh, man. So, um, good. Thank you very much, Claudia and Rene. Sé lo que trabajaron. Me gustó mucho. Pusieron en práctica lo que yo les dije. Uh, me gustó mucho la combinación de estructura que metieron el would you mind. Right? Cositas de pronunciación. Cositas que la práctica les va a dar. Así que ese es el camino a seguir. Síganlo haciendo como lo están haciendo. And the last one. Carla and Catherine. Go. Hi, Carla. How are you? Hi, Catherine. I'm stressed for... Why, Carla? Uh, my computer doesn't turn on. What should, what should I do? You should check the connection. I did it. It doesn't work. You should look another computer. No, because here is here is my report. Mm, you shouldn't hit the computer. Who who should I call? You should report the problem to technical support, Carla. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Nice. Bye. Round of applause. Round of applause, guys. Um, Catherine and Carla, muy buen trabajo con estructura también. Bastante fluido. Okay, la verdad, no logré cachar muchas cosas que, que corregir. Así que van por muy buen camino. Simplemente sigan practicando y no dejen que los topics se les vayan. All right, guys. So, um, antes de dejarlos ir, me acaba de caer un mensaje privado de un recordatorio que yo no les he dado, porque se me ha chispoteado. Acuérdense de trabajar con su, la descripción. Creo que mañana es el último día, no estoy seguro, tengo que revisar bien eso. Así que traten de hablar con su departamento de recursos humanos. Si tienen alguna pregunta, obviamente ustedes no tendrían que hacer nada. Recursos humanos lo hace. Uh, así que nada, espero que logren la asistencia, no tengo dudas que lo van a hacer, que logren su aprendizaje y que también logren su nota. So, desde ya vamos, vamos hablando con recursos humanos para no hacer presión, pero si un amable recordatorio, manden los documentos para que podamos estar, ya sea conmigo u otro facilitador, aprendiendo del próximo módulo. Eh, Tisha, disculpe que, que lo interrumpa. Uh -huh. Es mañana, es el último día. A mí me mandaron el mensaje el jueves pasado. Ok. Solo... 
No, no, porque yo veo que como que si que uno no sabe van a pensar de que ahorita están diciendo pero en realidad mañana es último día de enviar documentación ahorita están revisando Ajá. porque yo hablé con uno de ellos ahora porque se tardaron casi dos días en responderme si estaba bien mi documentación porque dice que todos les están llegando ya entonces si mañana temprano lo que no lo han enviado la pueden enviar es lo mejor pues porque eh, okay. y estar pendiente verdad preguntarles y esperar confirmación porque si uno no está encima a veces ellos no lo, no lo van a ver a tiempo por decirlo así You know what? Thank you very much. Gracias. Eso es lo que me llega. Trabaja un equipo. Yo me enfoco a veces bastante en la parte uh, de clases y lo administrativo, la verdad, se me chispoteó. No le voy a mentir. Se me, se me chispoteó a avisarles. Sí me pidieron que lo hiciera y se me fue el avión. Así que, guys, mañana es el último día. Por favor, pongamos turkey face con eso. Espero poder ver el otro módulo si están conmigo. Y ya es tarde. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye. Una noticia triste, se está quemando Metro Sur, al parecer es el restaurante Pueblo Viejo, hay un gran incendio. Oh, oh, al regresar, ya vamos a revisar. Yes. All right, thank you Bye. for letting us know. Take care.